Hi everyone, Russ at Cedar Rim. It's spring, it's that time of year for pruning, and it's that time of year for pruning your fruit trees. So we're gonna have a little quick demo, what you wanna do to your fruit trees at this time of year. So basically what we have here is, this could be a cherry, an apple, a plum, but this is what we call a three-year-old cherry, or a apple tree. This one's in a pot, it's been growing two years in the ground, one year in the pot, it's basically a starter plant so it's kind of like any tree that you would buy from us to plant in the ground this is what you're going to start with so we're just going to show you how you should prune it initially and once you see how to prune it initially you're going to kind of continue that on for the life of the tree so basically this is a starter plant everybody tries to buy the biggest tree they can find it's always better value it doesn't really translate because when you see how we prune them it really doesn't make much difference so really what we want to do is we want to have two to three main branches on the tree. We want to force the growth to the outside because with fruit trees, the more light that gets to the fruit and the leaves, the less disease we have. So with a fruit tree, we want to keep them low. We want to get them to go wide and we want to keep the center open so we get as much light and air movement as possible. So the simplest way when you're starting with a tree like this, you've got it planted in the ground, is we take off, we try to figure the three main branches so we've got three sort of main branches here. So I'm just gonna quickly lop off the branches that we know we don't need. So we're just gonna cut them off right now. And then it's a lot easier to see the three branches that we have. Now, one of the issues you wanna think about is if we cut the tree way up top here at the very top, let's say halfway up, that's almost two and a half, three feet of growth. If we do that for the next six or eight years, the tree's gonna be 20 feet high and 20 feet wide. And what happens is when you get fruit, the branches hang down and they touch the ground and you have to hold them up with sticks. If you see that, it's because they haven't been pruned properly. So we're gonna to try to cut the branches to about six or eight inches of length. So every year you add six or eight inches to the tree, but it makes the stalk and the trunk really thick and all your fruit is gonna form on the inside. And as the tree grows out, you've got these big, thick, heavy branches with all the fruit on. So your fruit gets lots of sun, gets in from the top, lots of air, and it's nice and low and easy to pick. And the nice thing is your tree doesn't fall over and your branches don't hang on the ground. So really what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to prune to an out-facing bud. So an out-facing bud is something like this where there was ever a branch or a leaf attached. We cut kind of to the outside and we cut on an angle so the water doesn't sit on the branch because when we cut to an out-facing bud, the growth will go to the side. And we want the growth going to the outside, not the inside of the plant. So there's an outfacing bud there and here. I'm gonna go a little longer the first year so everybody doesn't get too, too excited that we're cutting too much of the tree off. But I'm just gonna cut on the outfacing bud there. I've got an outfacing bud right here. So I'm gonna cut on an angle like that. And I've got an outfacing bud right here. So I'm gonna cut there like that. I'm just going to cut this little branch off here because it's broken and that's really all we need to do. This year you're going to have a lot of growth come out of there, here, and you're going to have what, you know, this was one season's more or less worth of growth from here, here to here. So we're going to have lots of growth coming out this year. We're just going to prune that back to about six inches in length. And it really doesn't matter whether it's a cherry, a plum, a pear, an apple, we kind of do the same thing. Don't worry about the fruit because next year all your flowers are going to be on the inside here. That's where your fruit's going to be. So when you're cutting the current season's growth, you're really not affecting much of your fruit production. So we're going to move over from this in a sec. I'm going to show you how you prune an espalier tree, which is a totally different animal. But we're going to take a look at that here in just a brief sec. We're back. We're going to show you how to prune an espalier tree. Totally different way of pruning than what we did before. Don't forget with the last one, we were trying to go low and wide, get lots of light in the top. This one, we're going long and narrow. And what we're trying to do is get the light to come from one side, because generally you plant these against the fence and because they don't take up much room. They're really easy to get your fruit off of. They're simple and easy to grow, but you have to prune them quite a bit differently. You can see the one row here and this branch, we can keep growing out. We can just keep training these branches maybe 15 feet long. This tree can take up 20 feet of fence if you, if you have the room. But one of the issues that we do have is between the branches, between the laterals, we only have about two feet. So if we don't prune this, this one's gonna grow through here and we're defeating the whole purpose of having the multiple rows of espalier on the, on the plant. So just like the last one where we cut them back to an outfacing bud at 
four or five or six inches long. These ones we're going to cut back to two inches. And by doing that, we're going to limit the amount of growth we have each year for how high these grow and that they don't grow into each other. Same principles apply. We only want the growth going, if we can, to the outside. And we have to limit how many branches we have to a certain degree too. But the nice part about it is all your fruit is going to form on these branches. They're going to be sticking right out in full sun and they're going to be really easy to pull. So maybe what I'll do is we're going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm just going to show you quickly how we prune. It's not really rocket science, it's pretty simple and it's pretty fast. So really, we're just going to try to go to anything that's an outfacing bud or close to an outfacing bud, which would be that guy there. This one here, we want the buds pointed in this direction and we don't want them too long. So we're trying to go to an outfacing bud. Same thing here. These ones here, we're going to cut them pretty tight because we want them to go up and then out. So we're just going to cut these ones tight to outfacing buds there as well. This one I'm going to leave long because I'm going to continue to grow that one on. This one here I'm going to tie this year, keep it growing lengthwise because I'd like this to grow as long as I can. So I'm just going through here. We're just going to quickly trim them to an outfacing bud. We're going to keep this one growing that way. That one I'm printing back. This will be the one that grows long. So again, we're just printing to an outfacing bud here. Doesn't take very long. It doesn't take up a lot of your day, but this five or 10 minutes you spend on your tree is gonna make all the difference down the road. A Little bit of work right now is all you need to keep your tree doing growing well. So you can see how much better that looks. Tie that down, continue it on. All your fruit is going to start to form in here. Next year, you're going to have more fruit than you'll know what to do with already on this tree, and it's only three years old. So be patient, prune hard, and have a great day, and enjoy gardening.